joining the program. I'm here with author and magician Penn Gillette. Penn, uh, we're talking today about your work with Vera Simulators. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, back in the 90s, um, Janet Reno, who was uh, Attorney General, Attorney General for uh, the United States.
50 hours at a time. Just racking up those points. I got like five, six, seven points. Amazing numbers. And uh, we would send them pizzas and stuff. And uh, Randy Pitcher had heard about that and wanted to put out a Desert Bus 2.0 mm. VR version. He wanted full VR. So he bought the bus. As a matter of fact, if you're listening to this, they're going to be using it on the bus. So this will be the first thing you'll hear on your radio. And they bought the bus. That's exciting. And they scanned it. And if you are listening to this on the bus now, uh, you've been going, what, five, ten minutes. You've got pretty much eight hours still to go. Uh, radio is not going to get that good a reception. Uh, and he also had other ideas that we turned down for his, uh... For his, uh, Terra Simulators? Yeah, personally. He wanted to do Toll Collector. Mm -hmm. You an eight-hour ship as a Toll Collector. Portrait Center, which I thought was a really good one. He said, have your portrait drawn. And Bird Watcher. Which, uh, we, I rejected Bird Watcher as being way, way too interesting. Because we don't make money. So 360 miles, you've probably got now the speed you're going, you've probably got 355 miles to go. You can drive a little bit. And we've got it really, uh, really accurate. Uh, do you think you will accomplish Jennifer's suggestion? Well, the question is, uh, someone who uh, does desert bus, they then be prepared to drive a desert bus. No. Much like when you play in these games she doesn't like, you're, you're not qualified to use a weapon. You don't know how to load a gun or you're hitting buttons. That's not the way guns run. You know guns run? I have never fired a weapon. Yeah. think if someone does a simulator on an airplane that if you're flying in a commercial airliner and the pilot goes unconscious, you can, you can take over. I think there's a Flight of the Phoenix is a movie where they're trying to get out of a place and they build an airplane and turns out the guy who builds the airplane uh, only built model airplanes before. I think that's the big punchline. I'm not familiar with the work. Why would you be? I don't think it was a very successful movie. They remade it, though. It wasn't successful there. I think Hugh Laurie was in the remake. Is there I didn't any, see it. Any thought given to the um, luggage capacity on this bus? Well, we have a bus. Right. Randy's, Randy scanned a bus. So they would be able to open the bottom compartment? I don't think you can. You think you just sit in the seat. But Randy uh, bought a bus, and they scanned the bus in. So this would be very accurate. See, Randy wanted to call the Desert Bus uh, 2.0. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to call it Desert Bus 1.002. Because I wanted there to be a lot of room for big improvements. But uh, Randy uh, says that this is... I haven't done it yet when we're recording this, but Randy says it'll be... Uh, it'll be great. So this is what Janet Reno wants out of a video game. How successful 